It can seem like time stands still on St. Simons. But just like people, communities are constantly changing. Well, I'm a lifelong resident of St. Simons. Yeah, my family's been here since the mid-1800s. To live in St. Simons and not see it from the water or be out in the ecosystem that surrounds it is missing half of the quality of the lifestyle. The island was still pretty small then. You knew everybody. You know, if you lived on St. Simons and you were a kid, I knew you. When I first moved here, there were three traffic lights on St. Simons. After dark, two of them blinked. We could climb up a big sand dune behind my house, we were the fourth house from the end of East Beach, climb up the oak trees on the top of the oak trees, thick with vines, and could climb all the way to the Coast Guard Station, one mile away, never touch the ground. Can you imagine that? The village is still 1950, and the shops, I hope they never change, they're all small and intimate and usually run by second and third generation families. The pier is, to me, is a magical place and I do love going to the pier, talking with the fishermen that are out there and very interested in what they're catching. People here routinely check with nature first before they make their plans. It's not just a resort, it's not just a nice beach, it's what it all entails, it's how small it is, it's how sweet it is, it's how, you know, the waitress is going to call me sweetie and the random guys on the beach are going to know my grandfather, you know. <laughs> when we visited different places, we chose St. Simon's Island because it seemed like the best place to raise our girls. This is not Disney World. This is not contrived cuteness. There is a lot of cuteness here, but it's, it's authentic. It's still a small city. I call it Mayberry with the beach. It's easy to fall into living here where you can get lost in a day and not be bothered. It's the whole thing. I mean, this is a real place where real people live. It's not a manufactured community. For me, the history that African-American people who, you know, were, were brought to this country brought a whole culture, a whole culture here, and it was still alive. When you're coming to St. Simons, the first unusual experience you have is crossing five miles of gold, beautiful marshlands. It's important to talk about the character of St. Simons because the character is defined through the balance of the natural environment as well as the built environment. The main question people want to know is, how do you preserve this way of life that exists here on St. Simons, and how do you preserve it for future generations? My question is, who is planning for St. Simons for the future? The G word, growth. Infrastructure is strained to the breaking point. Better manage our stormwater runoff. Build setback to setback. Flooding, where there wasn't flooding anymore. As much as we love the place, everybody else loves it too. Better protect our habitat. And it's changed a whole lot from the way it used to be. People are blowing their horns now. I think it's just going a little too fast. If St. Simon's got a lot bigger, a lot more touristy, a lot more crowded, it loses some of its appeal. I mean, it used to be a time we had a ghost town, and that's where you really got to know everybody locally. St. Simon's is not a person. St. Simon's is a community. But I think there's a continuity of everyone who lives on St. Simon's, and I think defining those common values is what really is going to help St. Simon's in controlling its own future.
the biggest challenges that I see, a short list would be uncontrolled and inappropriate growth on the island. And that leads to loss of the green space, traffic congestion, and the loss of the sort of rural ambience of the island. Where we have barely doubled in 40 years, I do think if we are unbridled in what we do, it's not gonna take 40 years this time. It's gonna take 10 or 15, I think. It's important to define what are the non-negotiable elements that contribute to St. Simon's character and how can those be accommodated and incorporated into new growth and development. Today, density is growing and so is traffic and the burden on the infrastructure. The thing that's really important to think about in terms of density is also urban form. Because the form is what people really respond to. It's not so much the density. So the difference is you can have an apartment building with eight units that says, I'm an apartment building because that's the only thing I look like. Or you can have an apartment building with eight units that may look like a beautiful old home that from the outside can fit in very well with the context around it. There is tremendous support for what the Land Trust does on the island. We are protecting for perpetuity important properties on the island. The properties we protect are not chosen randomly. Where is the property? What's the environmental condition of it? What's the conservation value? How's it zoned? How many rooftops can go there? Of course, how much does it cost? So what we're doing is both preserving the ecological character of the island, as well as improving the quality of life by keeping additional rooftops and cars off the island and putting less stress on our water and sewer infrastructure. I think it's a shame to clear cut a piece of property. I think that's a really poor way of, of doing things. Pulling a plan out of a book and putting it on a, on a scrape clean lot because you can is, is just not the best way to do things. It's no fun to have a really cool new house if your yard floods every time it rains or your toilet won't flush because the sewers are backed up or you can't make a left-hand turn to take your child to school in the morning because there's so much traffic out on the road in front of you. So we just have to recognize that there are uh, capacity issues in the finite space of an island that have to be addressed. You wield a lot of power, in my mind, as a developer, because you're changing the face of St. Simons every time you put in a new subdivision. And I don't necessarily oppose the new subdivisions, but they need to be done with quality in mind. One of the major elements of the charm here is the tree canopy, especially the live oaks. A lot of people would love to see a lot of these trees down so they could build. People come worldwide to come here to see these trees. Can we have development and a healthy tree canopy? You absolutely have to, because if you don't have the backdrop of what attracts people to purchasing property on St. Simons, you then lose the very value that you're trying to capitalize on. Folks are not just fighting to keep a big condo from going up next to their house. They're fighting to keep things special. If we don't fix the things that accommodate growth, the things that are broken, then, then it's not gonna be good for us. Developing a plan for future growth and development almost always means that no one is 100% happy because it's all about finding consensus. People need to stay in touch with each other here. Keep it the way you reason why you liked it when you got here. I would say to everybody down and say, look, it's silent. If you want it and you want to keep it the way it is, y'all got to start working to keep it and get together. Don't pull apart. 
get together and figure out what they want to do. I think an example of growth that's well managed here on St. Simons and that can be kind of an example for others is the growth of Malcolm McKinnon Airport. We took an old airport and tried to make a nice airport out of it. We're really in the airport business, but the cars that are driving by need to also realize that this is a, an important part of St. Simons Island. So that's why we've spent the money we've spent and continue to spend the money to keep the roadside of our airport looking gorgeous. We hope that um, maybe what we've done a little bit at the airport here on St. Simons is a good example for other businesses to follow. People come here throughout their life and they keep coming here and coming here. So when they have their big moments like weddings, family reunions, births of babies, they all want to come back here because this is a place that gave them a sense of community and a sense of family. Young people are moving back here. They recognize that, that there's a quality of life here that they can't find in other places. My friends are opening their own businesses and working in the community in ways that are bettering it. People my age need to take into consideration the future of St. Simons and what is taking place and what that'll look like, you know, 10, 15 years from now. One thing that people can do is to support the businesses that are here. Uh, the other thing is, I think, is to talk about things. You know, to read the paper, to be informed, showing up at zoning meetings, you know, voting. But it's mostly about being part of your community. People should recognize that the time is now. The game is on. When these undeveloped properties are bought for development, they're gone forever. There is no other place in this country and in this world like coastal Georgia. And St. Simons is a huge part of that. One of the things I love about St. Simons is that it's not noisy. You can think, you can meditate, you can appreciate the ocean. It is important that each of us develop our own sense of ownership for this beautiful island. I think it's the greatest place on earth, and I can't imagine living anywhere else. And what are we gonna to leave to our children and our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren and the people who come 5,000 years after we're here? We're real spoiled in a good way. I'm grateful I live here. Living here builds me up. Every day, I appreciate being here. I absolutely love where I live. This is where I want to be. It's important that we not let success destroy what makes this island so special. There's no one person or no one entity that is singularly responsible. It's everyone's responsibility. I want us to develop in a quality and peaceful manner. I want this to be a place of refuge. The ones that find St. Simons are looking for a treasured place. And when they move here, they have found their treasure. <laughs>